Welcome to the third day of me doing an algorithm a day. Let's get right to our challenge, which is number line jumps. Self challenge. And it says you are choreographing a circus. Circus, circus show with various animals. Circus show, god damn it. For one act you are giving to two kangaroos on a number line. Ready to jump in a positive direction, for example towards positive infinity. The first kangaroo starts at location x1 and moves at a rate of v1 meters per jump. <clears throat> the second kangaroo starts at location x2 and moves at a rate of v2 meters per jump. Okay, different positions, different speed perhaps. You have to figure out a way to get both kangaroos at the same location at the same time as part of the show. If it is possible, return yes, otherwise return no. Okay, so after giving time, whether they are they are at the same position. For example, kangaroo one starts starts at x uh, equal two with a jump distance of one, and kangaroo two starts at x equal one with a jump distance of two. After one jump, they are both at three. So your answer is yes. Okay, so you have to figure out a way to get both kangaroos at the same location at the same time. This is basically sounds like um, dividing and C. Complete the function kangaroo and the editor below. It should return yes if they reach the same position at the same time, or no if they don't. Kangaroo has the following parameters. Uh, it's all at integers and below 10,000. Right. Oh, x1 is even smaller than x2. Okay, I'm not sure if that matters. Mm. All right, so let's see. Basically, we have one kangaroo and the other kangaroo. And we can see for every iteration, huh, we iterate? I see. Uh, and that's why into infinity, towards infinity, jump into the positive direction. So basically while, uh, you cannot see while though. How long am I doing? that just after one jump okay maybe just no for the image it's clear that the kangaroos meet at the same location number 12 on the number line oh i might get the number line do i get a number line this is zero three four two let's see x1 position kangaroo speed position x2 is okay but, 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 the second kangaroo has a starting location that is ahead further to the right of the first kangaroo's starting location. Because the second kangaroo moves at a faster rate, meaning, ah, and is already ahead of the kangaroo, the first kangaroo will never be able to catch up this we print no. Okay. All right, yeah, if the speed and the position is higher, well, then it's for, sh for sure no. Mm. Let's think. So, you have to figure out a way to get both kangaroos at the same location at the same time as part of the show. All right, so we can maybe do that uh, at first. So if, for example, x1 is smaller than x2 and uh, v1 is smaller than v2, we can already return no. Because that's already, okay, the second kangaroo is ahead and faster. We can never, we're never gonna catch up. Let's have another look at constraints. Oh, that's the constraint, 10,000. Okay, so up until 10,000, we can say uh, for yeah, okay, for uh, say index in 0 to 10,000. I like that you can in Swift use underscore to like uh, sh improve the readability of numbers. It doesn't change the number at all, it's still at an end of 10,000. Mm -hmm. What we can do is the position, right? So uh, position of 1 is equal to 
x1 plus plus uh, v1 times index well then in that case we're starting at one and the same for position two because uh, that's the starting position plus how many jumps right first jump second jump and in that case but wait it's interesting that you can make uh, one of the kangaroos jump and then see if they are at the same position all right because this one says mm, oh no both are jumping at the same time okay never mind uh, if position one equals position of two why am i saying off just makes it unnecessary longer if position one is equal to position two uh, we can return yes right away and we don't have to iterate any further else uh, we're going to return no if we are at the end of the loop let's see that worked submit the code okay i think it runs a little bit too long so we might either uh, we're doing something too slow or it really just takes this long but I have an idea how to improve it even further I think at some point this could still be the case uh, right so we should I think always check whether we are at one point ahead uh, for example if V is okay that failed now could execute on time limits right I'm not doing it efficiently enough which means what I can do is if position 2 is bigger than position 1 and v2 is bigger than 1 that's a different thing right than the original position uh, since that's the new position then if at any point we're reaching that which is basically the same like here because times one right um, we can remove this one then and uh, we can just go in here for once let's see let's see if i have any so that runs nice okay submit it again let's see wow right away no, wait a second, you have earned your third, your third star. But did it come? Hmm. I thought actually that it solved all the test cases. Great, that was it. Yes, we can do an early check on that. Once we are like ahead and we're still faster, we don't need to look any further. Uh, alrighty, let's go back here. And uh, that was the challenge for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, you can hit uh, the like button. You can leave a comment if you want to share any kind of feedback. And hit subscribe if you don't want to miss out the next challenge tomorrow. See you there.